In this video, I'm going to test the difference between using the Legacy Healing Brush Tool and the current version of the Healing Brush Tool, which has Diffusion. To turn on the or off the Legacy Brush, it's in the top bar. So let's get started. I'm going to use my Healing Layer action, and that action uses the current healing brush settings. Make sure that the sample is current of below of the layers and sampled and the legacy doesn't have a tick there and the default I think for diffusion is 2 and I've set it to 4. The size is set to 40, no hardness and spacing 25 and I make sure that the pen pressure is turned off. Now to make the selection of the skin, it is Alt or Option and click on the area that you want to essentially paste over to remove uh, the piece of skin texture that you don't like or in this bit here, the hair. So as you move around, I've sped this up, as you move around, keep making that sample as close as possible to the area that you want to edit. It worked well with that hair and like I said this is my preferred method I just wanted to show the difference with the legacy healing brush and I'll show you that in a minute I miss that hair there so this is before and after now let's create the legacy layer. So I'm going to turn that layer off and create a new blank layer. I'm going to call it legacy healing. The healing brush is already selected. I'm going to put a tick in the use legacy and you can see that diffusion has been removed. Make sure that it's still set to current and below. And I'm just going to start editing the skin. Now with the legacy, you can see there that when it makes the selection and you're editing the area, it's not necessarily the same. What you're seeing is happening is not going to end up being the result. And sometimes for me, I, I sit there and wait before I start moving on to the next, just to make sure that I get a good clean result. So sometimes it can be a little, take a little bit longer for me to edit this way. Also, um, taking a bit longer, I don't want to take longer. I want to get in and out of Photoshop as fast as possible. And it can also cause a little bit of a lag as well. It didn't do too bad with the skin texture and the hair compared to the other way. The other method. Before and after. I just wanted to show you the difference between the two. It's minimal. Uh, it can be, it's definitely a choice. What works best for you situation. I personally prefer using the current settings for the healing brush tool but making sure I think that diffusion is set to four for me. I decided to remove the hair around on the eye. Uh, again I think I still preferred using the current method rather than the legacy but I just thought I would show you the two different brush settings for the healing brush tool.